I'm Terry Vaughn. Along with Charlie Lorenz, we're the producers of The Abalone Hunter. This film is about the biology of Haliotis refusans, the red abalone, and abalone sport fishing regulations. Classification, invertebrate, lacking a backbone or spinal column, not vertebrate. Invertebrates include limpets, moon snails, turban snails, chions, clams, cockles, mussels, rock scallops, native oysters, octopuses, squid, crabs, lobster, shrimp, and sand dollars, sea urchins, and worms. Abalone is an invertebrate. Abalone belongs to the phylum mollusca, referred to as a mollusk. Abalone join other snails, whelks, and sea slugs in the class Gastropoda. Members of this class have one shell, as opposed to bivalve species like clams and scallops that have two shells. Bivalves have two shells, one on top and bottom. There are many different species of abalone. In Northern California, red abalone can be taken north of a line drawn due west magnetic from the center of the mouth of San Francisco to the Oregon border. Red abalone is the largest species of the abalone world. This species can grow to an average size between 7 to 9 inches long. Trophy size abalone reach 10 to 12 inches in length. The current world record, as of 1993, is 12.34 inches captured by John Pepper somewhere in Humboldt County. What do abalone eat to help it grow to such large sizes? The answer? Brown algae, such as bull kelp. Abalone are relatively slow growing. Tagging studies indicate Northern California red abalone take about 9 to 12 years to reach 7 inches, but growth rates are highly variable. Abalone grow nearly 1 inch per year for the first few years, and much slower after that. It takes about 5 years for red abalone to grow from 7 inches to 8 inches. At 8 inches, growth rates are so slow, it takes about 13 years to grow another inch. Slow growth makes abalone populations vulnerable to overfishing, since many years are needed to replace each abalone taken. Department of Fish and Wildlife has a strict 7-inch size limit on harvestable red abalone. Only abalone that measure at least 7 inches along the longest shell diameter may be taken. Barnacles are similar incrustations excluded from measurement. Why? Research, including a recent California Sea Grant modeling study, has repeatedly shown that abalone, only a bit smaller than 7 inches, between 6 and 7 inches, contribute most to spawning the next generation. How do abalone reproduce? Answer: The sexes are separate but have similar external appearance. The gonads are the prominent crescent-shaped end of the internal organs. Ovaries are dark green and testes can be cream, light brown, light green, or pinkish in color. Abalone release eggs or sperm through the open holes in their shells. For effective fertilization, abalone need to be within a meter of each other. When abalone are too far apart, their eggs do not become fertilized. Fertilized eggs develop into larvae which can be carried by currents for about a week, called broadcast spawning. The larvae settle to the bottom, and develop into very small versions of adults. Most male red abalone start to reproduce when they are 4 inches in length and 5 years in age. Most females are reproducing at 5 inches in length and 6 years of age. Small females produce far fewer eggs than larger females. A 5-inch female produces about 300,000 eggs, while females larger than 7 inches produce about 2,500,000 eggs. Although abalone produce large numbers of eggs and sperm, reproductive success is very sporadic. The last major successful reproductive period for Northern California red abalone was probably in the late 1980s. The shell consists of a calcium carbonate, a hard substance that protects the underlying body from predators. Abalone have four to five respiratory holes, or what may be called siphon holes, that allow water to flow into the gills underneath the shell. Waste products, as well as gametes, the cells involved in sexual reproduction, 
pass out these same holes. You can identify the rear of the shell by locating what is called the apex. The front of the shell is easily identified by locating the beginning of the line of respiratory holes. Department of Fish and Wildlife Ocean Sport Fishing Regulation Handbook Invertebrate Section 29.16.3 describes that it is required to attach abalone tags to these soles. Describes that it is required to attach abalone tags to these holes on the front of the shell by using a zip tie, string line, or other suitable material. It is illegal to transport abalone without an abalone tag on it. Abalone have an anterior head with a pair of myopic short vision eyes, a pair of cephalic tentacles, and a mouth with a file-like tongue called the radula. The gill, head, and mouth of the abalone is near the most recently formed open hole on the left side of the shell. Shells are prized because of their inner iridescent layer. It is illegal to sell, barter, or trade any part of the abalone informally or for commercial reasons. The mantle is like a skin that covers the fleshy, thick body of the abalone that is most sought after by abalone hunters. The shell is created by a secretion from the mantle. The epipodium is part of the mantle and in conjunction with the mantle also secretes the calcium carbonate that makes the abalone's calcareous shell. Most divers agree that it is the respiratory holes on the top side of the shell, the black lobed epipodium and the black epipodium tentacles under the shell that extends beyond the shell's edge that helps give a clue that the abalone is not a rock. The internal organs are arranged around the foot and under the shell. The most conspicuous organ is the crescent-shaped gonad. Females are gray or green and the males are orange to beige colored. Pearls may congregate in the gonad. Pearls are very rare. Abalone do not have a brain. It is considered a primitive animal. However, it does have a heart on its left side and blood flows through the arteries, sinuses, and veins assisted by the surrounding tissues and muscles. Although an abalone seems to be a very hardy animal, Due to the fact that it can cling on to rocks with a very strong suction from its foot, abalone have a weak side to them. Perhaps the most central fact of abalone physiology, as it relates to the sport fishery, is that abalone have no blood clotting mechanism. Abalone are essentially hemophiliacs and as such are incredibly vulnerable to seemingly minor cuts, hence the strict rules on the types of allowable abalone irons. Department of Fish and Wildlife regulations attempt to minimize the chances that an undersized abalone, which must be released, will be lethally injured. For this reason, it is important to make sure that the abalone is a legal size of 7 inches before deciding to pick it. If an undersized ab is accidentally killed, there will be no more reproduction and a reduction of a population will occur. Section 29.15a, Open Area. Except in the area described in subsection A, 1 below, abalone may only be taken north of a line drawn due west magnetic from the center of the mouth of San Francisco Bay. No abalone may be taken landed or possessed if landed south of this line. 1. No abalone may be taken in the Force Ross area bounded by the mean high tide line and a line draw due south true from 38 degrees 30.63 minutes north. 123 degrees 14.98 west, the northern point of Fort Ross Cove, and a line drawn due west true from 38 degrees 29.45 north to 123 
degrees 11.72 west, Jewel Gulch, south boundary, Fort Ross State Park. B. Open season and hours. Open season. Abalone may be taken only during the months of April, May, June, August, September, October, and November. Open hours. Abalone may be taken only from 8 a.m. to one half hour after sunset. Bag limit and yearly trip limit. Three red abalone may be taken per day. No more than three abalone may be possessed at any time. No other species of abalone may be taken or possessed. Each person taking abalone shall stop detaching abalone when the limit of three is reached. In Mendocino County, no person shall take more than 18 abalone during a calendar year. In the open area as defined in subsections 29.15a and 29.15a1 above, not more than nine abalone of the yearly trip limit may be taken south of the boundary between Sonoma and Mendocino counties. When an abalone hunter starts taking more than their daily limit, it is time to contact the Department of Fish and Wildlife or CALTIP. CALTIP, Californians Turn In Poachers and Polluters, 888-334-2258. This video, though, is not about what to do when a violation occurs. All red abalone must be 7 inches or greater measured along the longest shell diameter barnacles or similar incrustations excluded. All legal sized abalone detached must be retained. No undersized abalone may be brought ashore or aboard any boat placed in any type of receiver kept on the person or retained in any person's possession or under his control. If you do accidentally remove a sublegal abalone, Regulations say abalone must be replaced immediately to the same surface of the rock from which detached. Why? An abalone dropped on sand or seaweed covered rocks cannot clamp down effectively enough to protect itself from predators. Abalone brought ashore shall be in such a condition that the size can be determined. Special Gear Provisions the use of scuba gear or surface supplied air, a hookah, to take abalone is prohibited. Abalone may not be taken or possessed aboard any boat, vessel, or floating device on the water containing scuba or surface supplied air. Abalone may be taken only by hand or by devices commonly known as abalone irons. Abalone irons must be less than 36 inches long, straight, or with a curve having a radius of not less than 18 inches, and must not be less than 3 fourths of an inch wide, no less than 1 16th of an inch thick. All edges must be rounded and free of sharp edges. Knives, screwdrivers, and sharp instruments are prohibited. Is this a legal abalone? Is it a legal species of abalone to sport catch? No. No, this is a pink abalone. Only red abalone can be sport caught in Northern California. The only lawful way to measure an abalone is with a gauge that has fixed opposing arms of sufficient length to measure over the shell. Every person while taking abalone shall carry a fixed caliber measuring gauge capable of accurately measuring 7 inches. The measuring device shall have fixed opposing arms of sufficient length to measure the abalone by placing the gauge over the shell. Is this an illegal way to measure abalone? No. Industry Alert Abalone bars with notches or with attached gauges with too short of arms that cannot sufficiently measure 7 inches over the top of the abalone shell are illegal. The law states, the measuring device shall have fixed opposing arms of sufficient length to measure the abalone by placing the gauge over the shell. 
Each person taking abalone shall stop detaching abalone when the limit of three is reached. No taking over the limit of three and no high grading. What is high grading? It is illegal to remove a legal sized abalone and then discard or replace it for a bigger one. All detached legal abalone must be kept and included in your limit. Even though an abalone hunter is trophy hunting using a larger 8 inch, 9 inch or 10 inch ab gauge, he or she still has to carry a legal 7 inch gauge as described in a section 29.15F. Abalones shall not be removed from their shell except for immediate consumption. Individuals taking abalone shall maintain separate possession of their abalone. Abalone may not be commingled in a float tube, dive board, dive bag, or any other container or device until properly tagged. Only after abalones are properly tagged as described in section 29.16b, title 14, CCR, they may be commingled with other abalone taken by another person. Any person fishing for or taking abalone shall have in their possession a non-transferable abalone report card issued by the department and shall adhere to all reporting and tagging requirements for abalone defined in sections 1.74 and 29.16 Title 14 CCR. Does everyone taking abalone now need to have an abalone report card? Abalone report cards are required for everyone taking or attempting to take abalone. Abalone report cards but not fishing licenses are now required for people under 16 years of age and for those taking abalone on free fishing days. This regulation change will improve the Department of Fish and Wildlife's accounting of abalone taken in the fishery. Why are tags now required for abalone? The tags allow wardens to easily see that an abalone was taken legally and identify the abalone cardholder who took the abalone. These regulations will help to ensure that all abalone are taken within daily bag and annual limits and to show abalone were taken legally even in cases when they were given away. In an instructional video on the new tagging and reporting requirements, it is accessible online at can I give abalone to a traveling companion who does not have an abalone card and then takes more abalone? You can take up to three abalone in a single day, but cannot possess more than three abalone at a time. If you eat or give away, also called gifting, any of your three abalone, you can take more abalone the following day. As long as the daily bag limit and possession limit of 3 abalone per person and the annual limit of 24 abalone per year are not exceeded. People who receive abalone as gifts are not required to have abalone report cards, but the abalone must remain in the shell and tagged until being prepared for immediate consumption. Section 29.16a all individuals, including divers, must have an abalone report card in their immediate possession while fishing for or taking red abalone. Individuals must complete and return the card pursuant to regulations in this section and in section 1.74b. An abalone report card includes detachable tags that shall be used to tag in the abalone that is taken and retained in the sport fishery. Any red abalone possessed by any person shall be tagged. Tools needed for tagging abalone. Hole punch, indelible ink pen, scissors, and zip tie. Card holders shall tag any red abalone either immediately upon exiting the water or immediately upon boarding a vessel, whichever occurs first. For the purpose of this section, a vessel is defined as any watercraft used or capable of being used as a means of transportation on water. Reference section 9840A CBC. 
cardholders shall not wait to return to their vehicle, beach site, or other location to tag any abalone in possession. Exception. Cardholders who die from a non-motorized vessel, such as a kayak that is in the water, may wait until immediately after disembarking from the non-motorized vessel to tag and record any abalone in possession, but shall not transfer any abalone from his or her immediate possession unless they are first tagged and recorded on the report card. The cardholder shall fill in the month, day, time of catch, and fishing location from the location codes located on the report card onto the abalone tag using a indelible ink pen. Remove and completely detach the tag from the card and affix it to the shell of the abalone. If the ink pen doesn't work, try making an indentation or mark to show attempt of filling out the tag. Don't leave tag or report card unmarked. The tag shall be securely fastened to the shell of the abalone. To affix the tag, a zip tie, string, line, or other suitable material shall be passed through the siphon hole on the abalone shell and through the tag at the location specified on the abalone tag. If dive site that abalone is taken from is not on the list, pick the closest location code. For example, if you took abs off the Noyo Harbor Beach, use the Georgia Pacific Mill designation number N31. Tags shall be used in sequential order and shall not be removed from the report card until immediately prior to affixing to an abalone. Any tags detached from the report card and not affixed to an abalone shall be considered used and therefore invalid. No person shall possess any used or otherwise invalid abalone tags not attached to an abalone shell. Immediately upon tagging all abalone in possession, the cardholder shall record the month, day, time of catch, and fishing location in the appropriate spaces on the numbered line on the abalone report card which corresponds to the number on the tag attached to the abalone. Cross-reference the GO ID numbers on the abalone tag which should match the GO ID on the abalone report card and the abalone license. If there are any questions about the authenticity, about the abalone, tags, card, and fishing license, see if the name on the driver's license matches with all the above. All tags must be accounted for at all times by entry of a record on the abalone report card corresponding to all tags that are not in possession. Any tag that was lost or stolen or destroyed shall be recorded as such on the corresponding line on the abalone report card. Any tag that was inadvertently removed and is still in possession shall be recorded as void on both the tag and the corresponding line on the abalone report card. Abalone tags must be left affixed to the shell, including while stored at a residence or non-transient location, until the abalone is processed for immediate consumption. No dry sacking. You cannot help take abalone for another person's bag limit. Abalone cannot be commercially sold, nor can it be used for trade or exchanged, bartered, for gifts such as diving gear, fish, or anything else. MPAs that allow recreational take of red abalone, May 1, 2010. McCarricker State Marine Conservation Area. Russian Gulch State Marine Conservation Area. Van Dam State Marine Conservation Area. Salt Point State Marine Conservation Area. Stewart's Point State Marine Conservation Area. Duxbury Reef State Marine Conservation Area. MPAs and special closures that prohibit take of red abalone, May 1, 2010. Point Cabrillo, State Marine Reserve. Saunders Reef, State Marine Conservation Area. Del Mar Landing, State Marine Reserve. 
Stewart's Point State Marine Reserve, Gersel Cove State Marine Reserve, Russian River State Marine Conservation Area, Bodega Head State Marine Reserve, Bodega Head State Marine Conservation Area, Point Reyes State Marine Reserve, Point Reyes State Marine Conservation Area, Point Reyes Headlands Special Closure, Point Resistance Rock Special Closure, Double Point Stormy Stack Special Closure. Part 3 Other Harvesting Regulations Clams in general. Except as provided in this article, there are no closed seasons, bag limits, or size on saltwater clams. Mussels. Limit. 10 pounds in the shell of California sea mussels and bay mussels in combination. Except as otherwise provided in this article, Saltwater mollusks, including octopus, may be taken only on hook and line or with the hands. No tools are allowed. Rock scallops. Limit 10. Method of take. Rock scallops may be taken only by hand, by the use of dive knives, or by devices commonly known as abalone irons in compliance with provisions of Section 29.15e of these regulations. Kelp in general except as provided in this section and in section 30.10, there is no closed season, closed hours, or minimum size limit for any species of marine aquatic plant. The daily bag limit on all marine aquatic plants for which the take is authorized, except as provided in section 28.60, is 10 pounds wet weight in the aggregate. Prohibited species no eelgrass, surfgrass, or sea palm may be cut or disturbed.